All right, we are live. I think so. Let me know if you all can hear me. I thought let's start a few minutes early because I'm ready. And I hope it, that everything is doing fine. Um, let's see. All right. Let's see who is already online. Lord of the world. Hi. Angel. I'm going to try to pronounce your name, your names right, but I'm not sure if I will manage. All right. You can hear me. Great. Hi, Rizon, Rizon, Rizon. I'm not sure how you pronounce your name. I've read it so so many times, but every time I'm like, how how would you pronounce that? I have no idea. I'm just saying Max Art. That's easier. <laughs> Hi, Libelula. All right, Eskies, Darren, hi, Darren. Drawings by Noella. There, I've said your name. <laughs> All right, so I really felt like live streaming because it's been a while since I did that, at least a few months. So I have this commission in progress and I don't do that many commissions anymore. So um, the rest of my drawings I record for Patreon. So I never have drawings in progress that I can live stream for you guys. But um, today I do. I am working on this cat for a client that I have already made a portrait for uh, last year. And this month I will be doing her two cats, two other cats. And this is the first one. And it's a lovely cat to work on. I really like drawing black fur. So I thought, why not live stream a little bit of this drawing for you guys in colored pencil. And meanwhile, I'm just looking at the chat and answer any questions. If you have any, just um, casually chat about what's going on at the moment. And I hope you all are fine. Let me know how you have been experiencing the past um, period, the past months. I hope you all have been going through it fine. I have been doing fine. I'm working from home. I've always worked from home, so I haven't really noticed a big difference in the past months. But um, a lot has been happening, of course, and it's very worrying as well. And let's see, love skating for Eva. Hi, Richard, Tygo, Tycho. I'm not sure. Um, there must be some Dutch people watching as well. But when I read your names, I'm not sure if I have to say them like in a Dutch way or in an English way. All right, so if you have any questions, I will be uh, looking at the chat once every few minutes and answering them. And I will be working on the nose. So I want the nose finished at the end of the stream. And when the nose is finished, I see, I'll see if I have time to do some work on the fur as well. But at least I want to do the nose. I'm working, by the way, with polychromos and a white garnage luminance on Kenson 1557 paper, which I always use for a colored pencil. And um, yeah, I will just be working, building up the layers like I always do. Oh yeah, Tycho, you have Netherlands. Okay, then I know how to speak your name. 
Hi, Smash Crafter. Have I missed anyone? Hi, Lorraine. Stephanie. All right, so where are y'all from? How many different countries are there in the stream right now? Okay, so for the nose, the nose is very pinkish with a little bit of purple, but she also has a big black marking on the nose, which is very fun to draw. Um, what I first like to do is outline the nostrils a little bit and adding the shadows there. So um, you can see the reference photo. Make, maybe I can show you a little bit, see what it looks like. Can you see that? So it's pretty pinkish with a black marking. So I'm going to try to recreate that. Croatia, the Netherlands, Germany, the UK, Hungary, Romania, South Wales, France, Italy, Cool, so many different countries. Okay, so Angel asks, do you have any tips on being noticed as an artist? I have an Instagram, but I'm planning on making a website in the future. Yes, making a map website is quite important. I would suggest you to do that um, because a website is something that you own and your social media is not owned by you. It's owned by Facebook or Instagram or they, they are both owned by Facebook, of course. But um, I would recommend to have something on your own that you can always keep promoting and um, get noticed, post a lot. So you have to be consistent when posting on social media, um, at least once every few days, I would say. But if you can, I would post every day. So, the consistency is very important because that creates the high engagement on your posts. And the higher your engagement, the easier you are seen by new people. All right, so I'm now using a um, cool gray. That's number three. And with that, I'm going to start creating the shadow in the nostrils. And I'm starting with the gray because the tone there is quite muted. It's a bit um, purplish, but it's also muted. So I'm starting with an underlayer of gray, and then I'm going to add some purple on top of that. Greece, Sweden, so many different countries. Philippines, Bosnia and Herzegovina. Not sure if I pronounced that right. Spain. India. Wow, that's far away. It's been a long while since I live streamed. So this year I want to try to do a daily live streams in December again. I did that in 2018. I didn't do it last year because I was sick all the time um, because of my tonsils. But I got them removed and now I feel very energized again. So I will try to do more live streams and some daily ones in December. I really enjoy live streaming, but I've been so busy. Scotland. Um, Miss Steve asks, is social media necessary? Yes, I would say so. If you want to make art your business, I would definitely recommend to do social media. It is the way to be found nowadays. So yes, definitely, at least one social media account, but I would suggest to do more. I am on quite a lot. And on every 
account, you are found by new people. Right, so I'm just taking this very slowly. Um. <laughs> EJ, do I say that right, e EJ? I'm just amazed how you are still focused on your drawing while talking to us. Yeah, <laughs> um, I don't do it that often anymore, so uh, I have to get used to it again. But the more I do it, the easier it gets. But especially when working on something this small, it's quite difficult, actually. It's good brain training. Okay, so I'm now going to take a darker color. Um, Cabot Morton Violet, which I'm going to add in the nostrils, in the darkest area. Give it some more shadow. So the nose itself is very light. So there has to be enough contrast in the nostrils to make the nose pop. Okay. Um, let's see. Is working on a cat different to dogs? Yes, it's very different because the anatomy is very different. Especially the eyes. Dogs have round pupils. Cats have like oval shaped pupils. So that's a big difference. The ears are very differently shaped. And usually the fur texture is also a little bit different. So yeah, I would say it is different. But I wouldn't say that one is specifically more difficult than the other. Um, so someone asks in Dutch if I also live stream in Dutch. No, on YouTube here, I am only streaming in English because I have followers from all over the world and I want everyone to be able to understand what I'm saying. Okay, um, Noella asks how to grow on Instagram. So I've kind of explained it just now a few minutes ago, but consistency is the most important. So uh, making sure to post once every few days or if you can, um, every day. Making sure that your photos are nicely taken. So they have to be sharp, um, nicely positioned. The colors have to be visible. So your photo, uh, if your photo is too dark or blurry or unattractive, unattractive, is that a word? To look at, your account won't grow because that's not very nice to look at. So your posts have to be attractive. All right, so now I want to start adding some violet. A little bit of violet right here. So I'm just building up these layers with a very light hand. I'm almost not pushing at all. I just want the colors to do their job. Please draw a Pikachu too. I have drawn Pikachu in the past, but I don't do fan art anymore on online, especially not on YouTube because of the legal trouble that you can get in, like the copyright trouble. So that's why I don't do any Pokemon anymore or any Disney. 
I just don't want to take the risk. Um, so if there are any questions in Dutch, I will do the answers in Dutch pretty quickly, but I'd rather answer in English so everyone can understand. Um, waar krijg je je inspiratie vandaan? Ik uh, baseer mijn tekeningen op wat mijn studenten willen. Dus de meeste tekeningen die ik maak zijn voor Patreon. Uh, voor mijn studenten daar. En elke maand vraag ik wat ze willen zien en dat ga ik dan uh, tekenen. How much pressure do I use? Is it like feathering over the paper? Yep, yep it is. Especially when doing something so delicate like a nose. Almost no pressure and now I feel like I have enough color on the paper. So then I take the Caran d'Ache Luminance, the white one. And I'm going to blend it. Wow, that sounded weird. <laughs> I'm going to blend it. And that blends all the colors together. All right, so then I have a look to see if I need any more darkness. I do need a little bit more darkness, so I would go in with brown, dark brown, burnt umber. And I'm going to just increase the contrast. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave that uh, as it is. Maybe a bit more right there. Um, let's see, are there more questions? Greetings from Brazil. Hi. Um, Danny asks, how did you manage to preserve the white fur over the eye area? Yeah, I'm just drawing around and I also use the indenting tool, the dotting tool. I've used this um, to basically indent the white hairs before I started the colors. So that's one way. And then to really clean this up, I just draw around the white hairs with black like this to really clean them up to make them pop so it's just basically knowing in my head where i want the white hairs to be and then i'm drawing around those white hairs that aren't really there but in my head they're there so and i'm drawing around them with the black or another dark color Okay, so now for the note itself, I'm first going to sketch out the dark marking on the nose a little bit more. And I'm doing that with cool gray, a darker cool gray. <coughs> I don't want the line to be very tight, so I'm just stippling. And then it ends right here. Very small. Um, will I ever draw any anime? No, I'm not really into anime. Anime or anime, I'm not sure. I'm not really into that. I've never been. Um, my style is really photorealistic. So probably not. Um, 
Um, do I prefer using color pencil on smooth or sketchy rough paper? So this is something in between. This is paper with a light grain and I really enjoyed this, but I also love using pastel matte, which is more rough. So it depends. But when I use white paper, I prefer something um, with a fine grain. I'm going to color this in. Very lightly, because I'm going to build it up in multiple colors. Maybe I should have picked a larger area to work on for now, <laughs> for this live stream because it's so small. Let me know if you want me to move on to something else, to another area of the drawing instead of the nose. I'd be happy to. Alright. Am I ever going to do realistic digital drawings on YouTube? Um, yeah, I'm planning to. So I will be getting a new digital drawing tablet very soon if everything goes as planned. So I am planning to pick it up again. I haven't done digital work in a long time because I didn't have the time for it. And I don't really get paid for it. <laughs> My uh, focus is on photorealism, uh, traditional photorealism, so I didn't really have a reason to do any digital work, but I will be picking it up and doing some videos on YouTube. I'm not sure if I can zoom in. I will try. Let's see if I can zoom. No, I can't zoom in anymore. I can only zoom in uh, when I'm offline. So no zooming, unfortunately. All right, so I'm going to add some blue, dark indigo blue to this marking. So eventually this spot is going to be really dark, but I'd like to add some under layers of blue and probably a bit of violet as well before I add any black. Little bit of Caput Mortem Violet. Let's add some black now before I lose the shape. Have to concentrate for a little bit. very important that this is the right shape because it's a commission so it has to look like the reference photo let's get this sharpened so for sharpeners I use the Faber-Castell color grip Right, that's easier. Now I'm just going to color that in. Uh, 
and then the edge of it at the top is a little bit more smudgy so I'm not adding as much black there So, I hope I will also be able to do a live stream of the other cat. I will be doing two. That one is completely black. So, I hope I have time for that. Actually, I don't think I want to add any more black. Um, let's add a bit more dark grey. I don't want it to be just a large black blob. I want a bit more depth in it. Alright, and then I am going to do a little bit of blending with the white garnage. Just to blend it all together. Alright, and then I can always come back to it. <clears throat> Have I studied anatomy before I started to draw? Um, not human anatomy, but I studied a lot of horse anatomy. So I've done that. Um, I didn't study any anatomy in other animals. But I know a lot about it because I've done um, some studies. I wanted to be a vet, so <laughs> I had to do some uh, anatomy studies for that. But when it comes to drawing, I studied mainly horse anatomy. And all mammal anatomy is quite similar of course because they all have the same limbs and the same bones they are just proportioned differently um, Another question, do I put the luminance in the jumbo end of the color grip? Uh, do you mean this one or this one? The luminance I put in this one. That's the only hole it fits in. Okay, that's enough for the dark spot. <coughs> Sorry, bit of pollen allergies.
All right, I'm back. I had to get some water because I've had a little bit of allergy symptoms lately, especially when I haven't talked all day. I've just been working and I had such a an itchy throat suddenly. I don't want to choke on camera, so I had to get some water. Um, I added some beige red. This is beige red, but it used to be light flesh. They changed the name. Not sure why. <laughs> Suddenly my nose is all runny as well. So I had this a while ago as well in a Dutch webinar I was doing. <laughs> Just out of the blue. Don't worry, it's no corona. It's just allergies. Alright, so I'm just going to build this up. And in grey. I'm just going to be quiet for a while, I think. <coughs> so my, my throat can stop itching. Why is it always on camera? Okay, so it's getting better. My throat is getting better. It's so weird. Is that normal? To have a sudden itchy throat <laughs> so I'm just combining um, pinks purples grays <laughs> let's add some medium flesh right now adding some shadow Let's erase the graphite line. <laughs> okay, so if it continues like this, I have to cut it short because I can't go coughing all the time in the live stream. That's very embarrassing. <laughs>
right, so I don't want the nose to be too vibrant looking, so that's why I'm working so lightly. I can always add more color. And then I can use the white current dosh to blend. I never have this coughing issue when I record for Patreon, by the way. It's always in live streams. So I'm not sure why it happens. Maybe it's stress. I hope it's not stress. It could be. <laughs> Let's add some blue. Let's not lose the shape of the nose right here. <laughs> Sorry for the snotty nose. <laughs> then I can keep continuing to add contrast. All right. And I keep looking at the reference and at my drawing, I keep comparing. Increasing the contrast on the side of the nose as well. So the fur here is going in a particular way. It's starting like here in the corner and then towards the nose it grows like this. Like it's curving around and then going downwards. And right here it's going sidewards towards the cheek. All right, I feel better again. <laughs> Great. Now I can look at the comments again. Thank you, Andrea. Um, am I working on Kenson paper or pastel mat? I'm working on Kenson. Kenson or Kenson 1557. 180 grams. All right, the itchy throat is normal. <laughs> I'm glad it is. It's very annoying though when it happens on camera. But the nose is looking fine, I think. So also in the fur, I like to add a lot of color. So I'm using quite a lot of blue to give the white fur a bit more depth. So don't just work with grays, because that's going to look very flat. Also try to add some blue, some violet, some pink. And 
and I just keep building up the layers very slowly. It's very different from working working with pastels because with pastels you can go a little bolder at the start and then it's easier to mute the, the colors or tone them down if necessary but with color pencil that's very difficult because you can't go with light on top of dark I do the blending in circular motions to make it nice and even and now I can also clean up the edge of this dark marking right here Thank you, Smashcrafter. Um, can I recommend a good type of paper for pen and ink? Not sure. I don't work with pen and ink a lot. I have done some work with pen. I've just worked on printer paper. Also, maybe I would suggest a smoother paper for that, like Canson Bristol or Strathmore Bristol Vellum. <laughs> But I'm not an expert on that. All right, let's not forget the bottom of the nose. And the fur above the nose is also a bit pinkish, so I'm continuing with those pink colors, bringing them up. Very lightly, mixing them in with some gray to make sure that it doesn't get too vibrant. I hope you can see this on camera because it's very light. And then I can do some blending with the white corn dash. And I can darken up the edge of the nose with a little bit of gray, cool gray. I'm working mainly with cool grays in this drawing because I see more of a bluish undertone. Let's adjust the shape a bit. It's a very delicate drawing to work on. So I have to be concentrated.
because when I do something wrong, it's very hard to correct. Alright, so let's see. Do I like that? Maybe I can pull out some highlights with an eraser. For that, I use the Tombow Mono Zero eraser. Which I really like. And if I feel like I've taken off too much color, I can go back in. Just adding a bit more. I just keep adjusting until I am happy with what it looks like. Don't want to work too long on the nose anymore. Just a little bit of fur on the bridge of the nose. The fur is very light, but I can add some shadow in between the hairs with um, gray, cool gray. Because white fur is never white. And there's always some contrast in it. So this month for Patreon I will also be doing a color pencil project but on pastel matte. So that's a bit different. There are already very many projects with color pencil on white paper on Patreon. So I wanted to switch it up a bit, work on pastel matte this month. I will be doing a Labrador, very beautiful brown one. And then also I will be doing a frog with pastel pencils and then a human, a human eye, human eye, that's hard to say, human eye with graphite. So I'm looking forward to that, especially to the dog. Okay, so this is starting to look quite nice. So right here in the center, in between the eyes, the fur is coming together. So the fur from the eye, on both sides, they're coming together right in the center, so that creates a shadow which you can hype up. It's not that prominent on the reference, but I want to make it a bit darker. I'm, adding, I'm using Payne's Gray for that. Almost no pressure on the pencil. Alright, let's do some questions. When did, I, when did I start to draw? I started drawing when I was about seven, but about six years ago I started really practicing because I wanted to make it my business. So I would say that I started seri seriously practicing about six years ago. I'm 
And thank you for all the compliments, by the way. Let's scroll up a bit, see if I missed any questions. Can I recommend a good type of paper for pen and ink? Oh, I had already answered that one. Can I say something about fear of drawing? So the fear of not fulfilling your own expectations. Oh yeah, I'm very perfect perfectionistic. That's also a very hard word. Um, but I don't really have the fear of not creating nice work or living up to my own expectations because I feel like I can always keep working on a drawing until I do feel like I'm happy with what it looks like. And you can always start new drawings, of course. So you have to just push through that fear if you have that. And the more you do it, the, the easier it gets. And eventually you will not be fearful anymore. So I did have a bit of that fear when I wasn't as experienced as I am now. But the more you practice, the easier it gets. And also that fear prevents you from getting better and from improving. So it's difficult, but I would say push through it and ignore that fear. Um, what do I find the hardest fur color to do? Mm, difficult. I would say white. And especially white curly fur. I find that really hard with colored pencil on white paper. On pastel mat, I find it a little bit easier. <laughs> but I would say that. White, pa uh, white fur on white paper. Because it's very hard to make the fur look white and also detailed enough to make it stand out from the white. You basically have to make it look white um, by adding enough contrast and color. Now adding some blue. This is sky blue. I really like this color. Alright, what should I work on? I want to stream for another 15 minutes or so, probably. So, what should I, what should I do? I can work on the ear. I can also continue with the muzzle. Let me know. <laughs> Sorry for my runny nose. Um, I feel like adjusting the nostrils just a little bit again. I'm not completely happy with the shape of them. The ear. All right, I can do a little bit of the ear. Um, what is the paper name? The paper is called Kenson 1557 180 grams. So it's 180 gram per square meter. All right, so the ears are always a bit tricky because there's 
light hairs coming out from the ear, you always have to draw around them a little bit. I'm going to take paints gray. And I'm basically just going to draw around the white hairs that aren't there yet, but I'm imagining them to be there. I'm leaving open little spaces in between the hairs or in between my, my lines. Just making this base tone. So this reference is pretty tricky, um, or at least the ears are because it's not very detailed. So I will have to make up some of the details in the ear just based on experience. So that's always a bit tricky. Black fur is always very difficult to photograph. What's the time where you all live right now? I know there are a lot of people from Europe, so it's probably as late as it is right now where I am. It's 9.30 almost p.m. The day is almost over, although I really enjoy drawing at night, especially late at night. So maybe I will just continue for a while after the stream and then do some yoga and then go to bed. All right, so this is where the light hair starts. So I'm going to just color this all in with the base tone of Payne's Gray. And I'll add some more detail there later. First, let's focus on the hairs, the white hairs for a while. So maybe I can show you the reference. So this is what it is supposed to look like in the end. So you can see that there's not a lot of detail right here and right here on the back of the ear. It's mainly, mainly just a black blob. So I'm going to, just based on experience, increase the detail right here and right here as well. So that's a very large challenge um, when you do commissioned work. 
we don't always get professional photographs to, photographs to work with. I can't talk anymore. <laughs> so in order to always create a good result, you do have to have some knowledge about the anatomy of the animal that you're drawing. Oh, it's 10.30 in Germany? Really? In Greece as well. Thank you, Smash Crafter. So now I'm going to add some shadows in between the light hair, still with Payne's Gray. I will add some more color later. Can add some more right here. Actually, I think I'm going to add some black. I want to be careful to not add too much black. Thank you, Mary. I'm really happy with what it looks like so far. I don't get to do commissioned work that much anymore because I just don't have the time for it anymore. Because I'm spending so much time on creating tutorials which I really enjoy. But it's nice to switch it up sometimes by doing a commission. Hey, Agnieszka. I hope I said that right again. Adding some... Um, no, let's take... in. Uh, dark indigo Some blue to switch it up And I always like to combine dark indigo with a little bit of caput mortem violet That creates a really nice deep purplish color Let's also add that right here where I just added the Payne's Gray. Whoops, don't go over the edges. Actually, I want to darken up the edges. Edges. Oh great, I said your name right again. Going to blend this. Just to make it a little smoother. And it will lighten up the colors. But after this I can go back on top with some black to really darken it up. First I want to create a nice and smooth surface. I 
I should put on some light music. I've thought about that. But when I do music in my videos, um, I always get people complaining that it is distracting from my voice. So that's why I don't do it. And it's also quite difficult to find um, good royalty-free music that I can use in the videos without getting deleted or demonetized. So that's also a big problem. So that's why I haven't done any music in my live streams yet. Now I'm adding a bit of black. Increasing contrast. Um, kan dit ook op pastel mat? Ja, zeker, dat kan wel. De manier van het opbouwen van de kleur is iets anders. Op pastel mat kan je wel met licht overdonken, dus dan wordt het proces ietsje korter en ietsje makkelijker. Dus dat kan zeker. Alright, let's add some shadow in between. The fur from the forehead and the ear, right here. And this is something that I can't see in the reference photo, so I'm making this up based on the knowledge I gained when drawing. Any previous cat portraits? So let's darken this up. Alright, let's leave it like that. Not too much black to start with. I can always add more. Whoops. And then I can add some more blue to the fur right here, so I'm using dark indigo. On top of that, a bit of Caput Martin Violet for more depth. I do feel like the fur is pretty blue at the moment, so maybe I will just glaze some more of this violet color. Oh, hi, Wicked Illusion. Thank you. All right, back to the ear. Let's add some more Payne's Gray. I will continue for probably another 10 minutes or so. So if you have any questions left, don't be afraid to ask. So I'm going to answer the Dutch questions in Dutch and then I will quickly translate in English as well. Um, werk ik aan een tekentafel? Ja, zeker. Ik heb een tekentafel. Dat is er zo eentje die je op een andere tafel kan neerzetten. Maar hij is wel vrij groot en zwaar. En hij is verstelbaar. Alleen werk ik graag plat. Vooral als ik aan het filmen ben. So the question was if I work behind a drawing table. And yes, I do that. But I always work flat. Because it's the best way to record my drawings. But I do have a really nice drawing table that I got for my birthday 
from my parents when I started drawing as a business. Um, I want to add some pink. I'm going to add a little bit of magenta to these light hairs to add a bit more depth, some more color. Don't be afraid to use color. Have I ever had a client ask for changes? Yeah, I did. And, but I never really had an unhappy client. But uh, sometimes people want uh, something changed on the eyes or the expression isn't just quite right. So I've had that happen. But especially when I just started lately, I didn't really have that anymore but I also don't really work a lot of I really don't do a lot of commissioned work anymore so I really can't talk it's getting late I'm getting tired I don't do a lot of commissioned work anymore so those things they don't really happen as much as they used to when I did commissioned work every week but yeah, that is something that you have to get used to if you do a lot of commissioned work for clients. I'm happy to make those changes as well. The clients know their animals best. Right, adding some cool gray. So the hairs right here aren't as light. These ones, they have to be the lightest. So I can go on top with cool gray right here. Just darken them up a little bit. So it's far from finished. I need to do a lot of work on this ear still. And now I can go in between the hairs more carefully to really pull out those shapes. Now using cool gray six. Um, will this video be recorded? No, I'm only doing a live stream today. Maybe... No, I think it will already be finished before I have time to do another live stream. So no, this will not be a tutorial or totally recorded. It's just this live stream. Did I do commissions full time? Yeah, at, uh, at one point I did, a couple of years ago, but I quickly noticed that that would not be my perfect way of just getting a good income, because my prices weren't that high. So I switched to YouTube and Patreon pretty quickly, and now I'm also part of another company about drawing. It's a Dutch company which I work a lot on. So at this stage I don't even have time to do that much commissioned work anymore. For me it wasn't the right way to pay my bills. I enjoy it though.
Thank you, Vanya. All right, I think I want to, let's darken up this area a little bit more. Maybe add a bit of blue in there as well, adding some dark indigo. I'm really glad that the itchy nose and the coughing is over. It's very weird. Um, also adding some violet. I'm adding as much color as I can see right here. Then I'm, I am going to add some black to darken this up. Especially in between the hairs. And I'm using this paper underneath my hand to prevent any smudging. I don't want to smudge the drawing. Hi Kato. Do I say that right, Kato? Let's darken up the tip of the ear. So this is starting to look quite nice right now. The first layers are always the hardest. It's all about the contrast. Let's work on separating these hairs right here a bit more. All right. All right, I think I will we'll leave it like this for now. Maybe add a bit more depth there in the fur, a bit more dark indigo, and a bit more Caput Morton Violet on top to create a nice deep bit of brownish tone. And then I can do a bit of blending with the white current dosh to get rid of the texture of the paper.
All right, let's do a few more questions, a few more color comments, and then I'm going to wrap it up for tonight. I got quite a lot done, actually. So I'm pretty happy with what this looks like now. And um, I should have finished this up in a couple of days. You will be able to see the results over on my Instagram soon. There's a link in the description, I think. I'm not sure. All right, so let's do a couple more questions. Thank you so much, Indre. I hope I'm saying that right. Thank you, EJ. Good night. Oh, hi, Sergio. Is there a certain set of art supplies you would suggest before starting one of your Patreon tutorials? Um, uh, it depends on which tier you want to join. The $7 tier is a lot of colored pencil, so I would definitely suggest the polychromos for that and a white carandash luminance. I use the white carandash in basically all my colored pencil work. And um, yeah, I work with all kinds of mediums, or I work with three actually, graphite, um, pastels and color pencils. So I would um, have a look first and see what medium you want to work in and which tier fits the best with that. And then start watching some tutorials, see what I use and then pick your your um, colors or pick your medium based on that but I wouldn't suggest one if I would suggest one that would be polychromos but it also really depends on what you're interested in thank you so much Agnieszka Alright, I think I'm going to wrap it up for tonight. I really had fun, even though the the coughing and the allergies and the snotty nose. I hope that doesn't happen next time. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I had fun tonight. I got quite a lot done. And hopefully I'll be able to do another one soon. You will be able to see the results over on my Instagram. Oh, another question. What colors did I use for the eyes? Um, some... Let's see if I can still find them. I put in some yellows. And some green. What did I use? A bit of dark indigo for the shadows. Just above, just below the eyelids. And black for the pupil. Also a little bit of Caput Mortem Violet for the pupil. I think that's basically it. Yep, that's it for the eyes. So if I have to name them all, um, that's Dark Indigo, Caput Mortem Violet, Black, Chromium Green Opaque, Earth Green Yellowish, and uh, raw umber and finally dark naples ochre so that's what i use for the eyes all right thank you very much for watching have a good night or a good day um, depends on where you're based and then i want to see thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video or the next tutorial or the next live stream so have a good night and I'll see you then.